Just about as fast as it went up, it went down. Passengers aboard a United Airlines flight from Hawaii to San Francisco in December remember the terrifying moments when their plane nearly nosedived into the Pacific Ocean. It certainly felt like a roller coaster. According to flight tracking data, the aircraft took off and reached 2,200 feet before going right back down. 21 seat gripping seconds, a 1,425 foot drop to only 775 feet above water before leveling out and ascending. The NTSB announced Tuesday it's opening an investigation into the United Airlines 777 incident, and a preliminary report is expected in two to three weeks. The FAA and United have not publicly said why this happened nearly two months later. I have a very short fuse when it comes to an airline or anybody in it telling me that that is not a public trust. It is a public trust, and we do need to know what happened, if for no other reason than know that it was anomalous and easily cured. Until that time, ABC News aviation consultant and veteran pilot John Nance has some theories. While passengers said the weather was bad, he does not think that's to blame. The pilots involved were veterans and had more than 25,000 hours of flight time combined, and United said they received additional training after the incident. That leads Nance to believe there may have been a glitch with the auto flight system. All of us these days use computers and I think all of us are aware that if you misprogram something that doesn't mean write computer language but just punch it in wrong you can get a bad result. Well, airplanes are not much different. They're very sophisticated computer systems on there. They control even the flight path of the airplane. And so one of the questions is, was something misprogrammed? Nance says this isn't about blame. It's about understanding. For passenger Rod Williams, whatever the cause or reason, he says he's grateful for the amazing recovery efforts of the pilots. It was the first flight for his two children, traveling with him and his wife after a Hawaiian vacation. And he's just thankful it wasn't their last. You start you know, asking yourself, is this the last time you're going to see your family? It's one of those things where you start counting your blessings. Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.